Hi, welcome to South Shore University Hospital Pre-Surgical Testing. Your active participation is important for you to prepare yourself for your anesthesia and your upcoming surgery. First, for registration, please bring a photo ID and your insurance cards. Next, make a list of all your medications, vitamins, and supplements. Be sure to include the dosage and how often you take them. Also, write down the names and phone numbers of all your doctors, including specialists, and note when you last saw them. Don't forget to include the name and phone number of your pharmacy. Your pre-surgical testing visit should take about one and a half to two hours. Make sure to eat before your appointment. Do not skip any meals. During your visit, we will be taking your vital signs, blood work, possibly an EKG, and possibly a chest x-ray. You'll speak with a nurse practitioner for a complete history and physical. Please take the time to watch the following video. Thank you for choosing Northwell Health at South Shore University Hospital for your upcoming surgical procedure. The information in this video is designed to help you reduce the risk of post-operative infection. During your visit to pre-surgical testing, you will be given three sponges and a bottle of disinfecting soap called chlorhexidine or CHG. You will need to shower with CHG on the two days before your procedure and again on the morning of your procedure for a total of three showers. Follow these steps for pre-surgical showering. At the beginning of your shower, wash your hair, face, and genitals with your own soap and shampoo and then rinse off. Wet one of the sponges that you were given and pour a generous amount of CHG disinfectant soap on the sponge. Turn off the water or step away from stream and gently scrub your body from the neck down, paying attention to your surgical site. Leave your armpits for last. After washing for approximately three minutes, completely rinse off the disinfecting soap, CHG. Step out of the shower and dry off with a freshly laundered towel each day. Do not apply any lotion, perfume, or powders for the three days. You may use a little deodorant if it's not near your surgical site. Do not get CHG in your eyes, ears, nose, mouth, or genitals. It is safe for the CHG soap to drip onto your genital area while washing and rinsing. Here are some additional precautions. Shaving causes accidental cuts and open hair follicles, which can be an entrance for infection. If you must shave, we recommend an electric shaver. Do not use a razor or electric shaver near your surgical site. If needed, this area will be shaved or clipped in the surgical department by our healthcare team. On the first day of your shower routine, you will need to change your bedding to ensure you are clean and getting into fresh sheets. You don't need to change your bedding every day. It's important to prevent pets from lying on your bed during the pre-surgery period. If this is not possible, place an additional sheet on the bed as a barrier and wash your hands with antibacterial soap after touching your pet. After your surgical procedure, stop using the CHG scrub and switch back to your regular soap. Pre-procedure screening for Staphylococcus aureus, MSSA, and methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA, and decolonization for patient positive for MSSA or MRSA. As part of our effort to reduce the chance of post-operative infection, a swab of the inside of your nose may be taken. This test is conducted to check for staph and MSSA bacteria. Both types of bacteria can live on your skin or in your nasal passages without causing symptoms. However, if not treated, there is a risk that the bacteria could enter your body through the surgical incision, potentially leading to an infection that is difficult to treat. If you test positive for staph or MSSA, you will receive a call from a member of the surgical team. A nurse practitioner will call in a prescription to your pharmacy for a nasal ointment called mupiracin or Bactroben. You will apply this ointment to each nostril twice a day with a cotton-tipped swab for five days prior to your surgery. All jewelry must be removed prior to surgery. Please leave these items and any other valuables at home. Wash your hands frequently on the days leading up to your surgery and the days after your surgery when you are at home. Use your soap and water and scrub for 20 seconds. Dry with a clean towel. You will be given instructions on how to care for your surgical site by the team as part of your post-operative instructions. 
Again, thank you for choosing Northwell Health at South Shore University Hospital for your upcoming surgical procedure. Thank you for watching this informational video. I hope that it was helpful for you and be well.